Yeah, that, that freshman, that I think it was your freshman season, was the uh, the bowl game, the uh, Army game, mm -hmm. when uh, you were struggling through academics and things of that nature. But mm -hmm. you've got all that worked out at this point, and, and now it's just spring ball and concentrating on football. Yeah. Yeah, it's a uh, it's really been a long road, but. Uh, I'm back out here trying to focus, uh, help my teammates to get victories for the next season. Has it been difficult getting adjusted to you know the college life as far as playing ball and the academics that go with it? Uh, yes, uh, it's, a, it's a very different state, especially at a prestigious school like uh, SMU. You really have to put a lot of work into the classroom, so it's really a, a different than high school. All right, so walk me through the offense. This is uh, what number of season number three for you, getting getting into the run and shoot. Mm -hmm. Uh, and Connor talked about it, it, it being kind of being coming one with the with the offense. You know, how are you progressing with it at this, at this point? Uh, it's really progressing. Uh, offense is it's almost second nature to me now. Uh, we have a lot of young receivers in right now that are ready to step in and play. So it's it's looking real good right now. What uh, were there trouble spots from the last couple seasons that you wanted to work on that you that you've been able to kind of over, overcome? Uh, really, route running and. Becoming a leader on the field, uh, I've always been led by other receivers, you know, Emmanuel Sanders, Aldrick Robertson, Cole Beasley. But now it's my time to step up and uh, be a vocal leader to my teammates and to this wide receiver group. What, uh, what's the biggest attribute for you that, that you're going to bring to this team aside from the leadership role? Uh, really just uh, big playability. Uh, when, when the game is on the line, I want the ball in my hands. And uh, I was always told that big time players make big time plays and big time games. So. I just want to live up to that. To your credit, we talked once last year about uh, losing a ball in the lights, you know, and having the deep ball. The deep ball is important to this offense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you talked about losing the lights, but you admitted you said I still should have had it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I never conceive drop balls. Uh, it's just unacceptable, really. I've always been taught if it, if it touches your hands, you have to catch it. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, pro. Appreciate it. All right, appreciate you.